welcome back so in our last video we got to the stage where if you're on the second level which I'm on now and you collect the collectible as in finish the level you can hit the spacebar um, and it won't take you to level 3 but it'll take you back to level 1 and give you different text so now let's go ahead and add some music to the game go to the hacks flixel website um, click on starting tutorial and get to part 12 or go to the URL hackfixel.com slash documentation slash sound dash and dash music and let's grab a few songs so where it says here some music right click and save the link um, hackfixel tutorial game is what we want I have already done it so I'm not going to download it again but make sure you do that also grab coin.wav and win .wav. and when you have those three files we need to make a few changes so let's change this one to just say music and change this one to just say jump now as you can see there are two different formats you've got .wavs and .oggs my personal preference when making games is to have all the sounds the exact same format and in my experience .oggs are the most cross um, platform sound, like the best cross platform sounds because they work on, on desktop, they work on native. Um, so, if you were going to do that, you can convert all of these to .oggs. But for now, we'll stick with this. Um, make sure that in your code you open up the assets and music section. Um, in your finder, and what we want to do is just grab the music, put it in the music section. We don't need this text file anymore, so we can get rid of that. Um, and when it gets to the sound, of course, these two sounds are what we need in there. Perfect. So now let's, let's load them up. Inside the level state, in the create level method, we are going to load up the music. And surprise, surprise, it is an FLXG, the FX global thing that we use for most things. Um, actually, yeah, this, this is the right place for it. Let me think. It could actually even go in here if we wanted it to, because it's like the main place for the whole level. So I think let's let's just put it in here. So we're going to say FLXG.sound. Where is my autocomplete? Okay, so let's see your sound dot music. No, dot play music. There we go. And we want to load up our music, so that is currently in assets um, music slash music dot ogg. As you can see in here, we have the option to set the volume. Um, so the highest is is one, lowest is zero. So you can have zero point one, zero point two, whatever. We'll leave it as one for now. And it's as simple as that. So once we save that and then test the game, you should hear the music playing in the background. Um, there we go. So as you can hear, if you can hear, we've got the music in the background. But notice this. When we go to the next level, it restarts the music. So I don't want that to happen. So let's fix that now. Um, if the music is jarring you, you can press the zero key on your keyboard to mute and unmute. So I'll do that from time to time. Okay, so what we're gonna do to prevent the music from, from stopping is to have um, a statement here and say if flxg.sound.music equals equals null, then we can do this line over here. And what this is doing is um, when we when we run this line, we are assigning this track into the music variable. Um, and when we go to another state, it's going to come here again with this create method, and we'll check if there is a variable inside this music um, method. Sorry, music variable. If there's something in here, if there is. 
then it won't um, won't restart the music basically. So if there's something in here, it won't restart the music. It will keep it as is. If it's empty, then it will do a restart. And it's as simple as that. So let's save. Wait for the game to build, um, and then check it again. Just to show you it worked. Music is playing in the background. Let's star. Let's space, and it's still going as expected. Now let's add the sounds. So we want the sounds to be in two places. Um, one when you collect a star, and one when the player jumps. So this works a bit differently from the music. What we're going to do is add a new variable called um, collect sound, and that would be part of FLX sound. Please, there we go. And this, yeah, this is a bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the sound in first. So FLX sound equals FLX G dot sound dot load. Then be similar to here. So that, um, assets dot sound sound is it yeah sounds and then coin dot wav so now we've loaded that into the game to play it we can play it when the play we can play it when the player collects the sound bit of a tongue twister okay so they collect the star here um Is that the correct place to put it? I think so. Yeah. So put this here. Do play. So that on its own should play the sound. But we're going to add a variable into here. I'm going to show you what it what it is when it loads up. So force restart. So force restart is true. And this is kind of useful if you have um, say two stars close close to each other. So you've got um, yeah, it would play the sound twice. Without this variable, it will finish playing the sound through before it restarts. But with it there, no matter how far the sound's gone, it will it will restart it. Um, so I guess in our specific scenario, we don't actually need it. But if if you do need to have that in the game, if you want to have like multiple stars that are being collected or, or like kind of a double, triple jump, um, you want it to cut halfway through and play the next sound, this is the way to do it. Okay, I think this is the correct thing to do. So collect star, kill star, increment score, play the sound. Okay. Fingers crossed, this works. Put the sound back on. Hard refresh. Jump. There you go. Um, of course, ideally, we don't want the game to go to the next level after collecting one star, but we'll change that later on. Okay, so that was fairly simple. Now let's do the same for the player. We will make play the sound when they jump. So we'll have a variable in here. Um, yeah, we'll call it jump. Sound and that would be FLX sound. Come on. My computer is running very slow at the moment. Okay, so we've got this, and of course we load in the sound as we did last time. I'll put it down here. So this will equal FLX sound dot load and then we do assets sound and uh, I think we'll put jump dot wav. I think. Okay, so now we've got that jump sound. We're going to play the jump sound only when the player jumps, which is here. Okay, we're going to do similar thing. True. Um, like I said, if you if you have multiple jumps or we want the player, well, I guess in our specific scenario, um, what happens sometimes is the player can just about touch this and then jump again. So I can't show it to you now, but so if that does happen, we want it to like play the jump sound twice. Um, so it could be like bow bow. If that makes sense, um, you'll see it more in the game. But if you do play around with the game, you might jump into that scenario. Okay, so hard refresh, sound on. There we go. As you can hear, we've got that going. Start collecting. Perfect. And there we have sound in the game. They're as easy as that to do in Fixer. So in our next video, we're going to focus on removing the Fixer branding and probably haven't seen much of it here, but it's more things like when I come here, it automatically pauses. I don't want that. Um, I don't really want this Flixel loading bar. I want to have my own custom one, so we can change that. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to focus on, and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.